Well, hello and welcome to another episode of Harry's Garage. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Canyons of Malibu. Wait a minute. It snows in Malibu? Maybe not. Hello, one and all. Welcome to Scene Through Glass. Today here on RumbleStrip.net and 10 Minute Test Drive, we look at Hyundai's alternative to the Prius, the Hyundai Ionic. Is it any good? Is it worth your time? That's what we find out next. So you join us today in my driveway. And why is that? Well, we're under a winter weather advisory here in Michigan. It's the beginning of December. That means it's winter, snow, and such. It's right around 30 degrees, which means as soon as the snow falls on the roads, it melts, and then it immediately turns to ice. So it's not fun to drive. And in this Hyundai Ionic, even less so because of the tires. So as a vehicle that's meant for fuel economy, like many other vehicles, it runs on the Michelin X green tires, which are very low rolling resistant tires, which is great if the temperatures aren't bad and the roads are dry or maybe even rain. But in moderate conditions or moderate winter conditions, no bueno. Um, we've had snow on the ground for most of the week that we've had this vehicle and immediately we noticed this does not like snow. Uh, the brakes lock almost immediately. The traction control kicks in almost immediately uh, is when you're trying to accelerate away even at gentle RPMs. And understeer, yes, four days. So our view of this is gonna be colored a little bit based on that, full and fair disclosure. Also, because of the weather, um, we, in talking to some other colleagues, we did not get anything close to what the advertised fuel economy is on this. So, according to our Monroney sheet here, the Hyundai Ionic 2017 Hyundai Ionic Blue, hybrid blue, it gets 57 city, 59 highway, 58 combined. No. Uh, we've done several different highway runs. We've driven it in traffic, we've tried to maximize our use of the hybrid system as much as possible. We're in the mid 40s. Now, one of the things we've seen with other hybrid vehicles that aren't the Prius is that if you don't control or protect the electronics, they are greatly affected by weather. Even Honda had this problem with their uh, Civic Hybrid and Accord hybrids. And I think that's what's happening here with this Hyundai Ionic. So is this a legitimate Prius alternative? Because that's the real question of why this exists, right? Um, yes, maybe. So the current generation of Prius as a vehicle is not bad. To look at, that's a whole different conversation. And depending on when you see this, we may or may not have done uh, and posted the review of the uh, Hyundai, or excuse me, the Toyota Prius Prime plug-in, which if we have, we'll put a card up here for you to check out that video. Now, the new Prius is good. I mean, as a driving vehicle, it's it's fine. The chassis is miles better. It's, it's generally an okay vehicle. This Hyundai Ioniq is pretty good. Uh, we're going to kick on, talk about a couple other things that aren't favorites or we think are lacking, at least as optioned on this one. Um, but as a vehicle, it's fine. Um, the fact that it looks more normal may be the most appealing fact to a lot of different people because the styling on the new Prius, let's be honest, not the best. So in other driving dynamics, uh, when the roads were dry, it's okay. It's fine. It drives. It seems to be relatively normal. The looks on this are okay. Uh, the hatchback is useful, it has useful space in there. Uh, the solid body line that kind of cuts across the, the rear hatch to go from the hatch to down, it's not too intrusive, but it's at that spot that depending on the height of the vehicles behind you, 
is a bit annoying at times. This vehicle does not have heated seats. Now, the reason I'm pointing that out is way back in, I want to say it was 2009 when we did our Hyundai Elantra video, which is one of our most viewed videos ever at, I think, approaching 300,000 views and was done with a uh, Kodak zoom camera, I think, or something like that. Anyways, we'll put a card up here for you to have a look at that. Back then in 2009, that was a $17,000, $18,000 vehicle, and that had heated front seats and rear seats. This vehicle has neither. And this one is going to clock in at, let's get the numbers right here, as delivered with uh, freight and handling, 23160 23160 okay, that's reasonable price. That's a maybe even decent value, especially when you consider a vehicle that even in maybe the worst conditions or not the most ideal conditions for fuel economy is still going to pull down mid-40s, right? Not bad. Not, not going to complain about that. As far as other amenities, this Hyundai Ionic is not bad. Um, it's got a full infotainment system. It's a small screen. It is mm, six, seven inches, something like that. Probably seven. Um, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Stereo says the sound in the stereo is like, eh. But again, most people who are going to buy this are going to be looking for an audiophile system. Um, separate control, separate uh, passenger and driver controls for heat and air conditioning. Again, no heated seats, no heated steering wheel, wouldn't expect that at this price level to be at, on anything. Um, you know, in general, it's okay. So let's uh, consult our notes for what else we have on this thing, because it's going to be a relatively quick review. Um, we've talked about fuel economy, no heated seats, small screen-ish, especially in today, you know, 2017, almost 2018 now as we're recording this. Um, One of the things that a lot of reviewers out there will say, and a lot of people will say, is there's no good cheap cars left. Uh, everything's gotten so expensive. We want good quality car that we can rely on, that's going to get good fuel economy, never have to worry about it, and is good value for money. Is the Hyundai Ionic Blue that vehicle? In a lot of ways, it is. At 23 grand, it's a reasonable value for money in a vehicle that's going to get mid 40s in fuel economy. Uh, Hyundai's tend to be very reliable. They have a decent dealer network. And if you're interested in buying this car, driving dynamics probably aren't in the top 10 things that you're looking for. Uh, so in that sense, it's probably a good choice for you. Is it a good Prius alternative? Maybe. Maybe. Hyundai and hybrids, you don't equate the two. The Prius, well, that is, it doesn't just set, you know, I'm going to steal Ford's line here, but it's actually true. The, the, the Toyota Prius doesn't set the bar. It is the bar. It still is that case. Does this get close? I don't think so. But if you are put off greatly by the looks of the Prius, will you be well served in this vehicle? I think so. It's comfortable, reasonable, as we said. Reasonable passenger room, reason, you know, driver's comfort is not bad. You got all your steering room wheel controls. Reasonable cargo capacity, good fuel economy. Again, we didn't get anywhere near close to what the uh, EPA says, but again, weather and whatever else could be it. Would it be our choice? No, but then again, this is not any kind of vehicle we're looking for. If you are a person who is looking for a high fuel economy vehicle that's very reliable and you automatically go to a Prius because you're probably going to end up with the Prius. Should you drive this just to see? Absolutely. What's shaking, y'all? Fill her up, lad. Clean the bugs out of her teeth. To be! Or not to be? That is the question. Wrong claim. Now is the winter of our discontent made glorious. Wrong claim. Friend, Roman, countrymen, lend me your ears. Wrong ear.
Verona for a while, I take my leave. <laughs> to see my friends in Padua. And what a fortuitous gale it is that blows me here. Such wind as scatters young men through the world to seek their fortunes farther than at home, where small experience grows. Thus, it stands with me that I have thrust myself into this maze. Crowns in my purse I have, goods at home, and so am come to see the world. Didn't think I could pull it off, did you? 